Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to send a short message and make a voice call in Home Assistant uh, by Kinkone G1 controller so that you can send the notification by SMS Ok, let's look at the first sample and you can see uh, this is Kinkone G1 uh, it's a 4G module, I have inserted a SIM card at here and in this video I will show you the demo we can press this button because this button is work as a binary sensor in Home Assistant Actually, you can use any entities in Home Assistant, just binary sensor. And also, I have connected with the DS18B20 temperature sensor because I want to show you how to send the short message according to the temperature. Firstly, you can see if I press this button, I want to send a short message. How to do with it? You can see if I press this button one, uh, that is turn on this button, and this mobile phone will receive a short message you can see uh, we can look at what we have in, uh, received you can see the key is pressed uh, by the SMS so this sample just the battery sensor when the key is pressed is on so that will send a short message from this SIM card ok I will show you how to do with it let's back to my computer I will show you how to do it and you can see this is our home assistant dashboard and the settings and the automation I have already created a SMS you can see the SMS just very easy just the G1 digital input 1 is turned on then just publish by the MQTT so I can create the second you can see uh, uh, first we can launch in our G1 uh, KCS firmware web page uh, that is our web page you just need to enable at here in general the protocol just enable this uh, this one is for Home Assistant MQTT Auto Discover so that we will find the G1 uh, with zero code, zero config and the second you need to enable the MQTT and this just fill your uh, MQTT broke IP address and broke port and username and the password you can see this information is the same so this just let Home Assistant can auto discover for the G1 so that without any config and the second just enable the MQTD protocol you can see the state topic and the command topic uh, when, when we need to send a short message and make a call we need to use this set command copy topic and other protocols if you're not used you just disable it ok so you just set for this is very easy and then back to my home assistant dashboard so now I will show you how to press this button 2 and the key 2 will send a short message ok the first let's look at my home assistant you can see uh, in home assistant dashboard we can look at what will the results you can see the setting and the device and the device and you can see this G1 have auto discovered by MQTT and you can see the sensors just the binary sensors you can see the, there are 12 input uh, this just 12 buttons on the keypad and this is DS18B20 temperature sensor have showed the value uh, just this one that have showed the value so this time we can use this binary sensor to trigger a short message actually you can use any binary sensor not must use the DG1's digital input just in Home Assistant entities so let's back to this page ok now we can create an automation and create a new automation and add a triangle we can click device and the device name we can choose we can input G1 G1 this one because you can see the device name we can already have set at here this called G1 so uh, at here we, we can choose this G1 and this will list all results of G1 so this time we want the input 2 just press this button 2 to send a short message so I just choose this you can see the input 2 is on that means press this button is triangle and then what to do add action and we can choose a MQTT other actions uh, you can also input MQTT 
and use this one just to publish a payload to a topic you can click this one and you will see the topic and the payload what we want to do because we want to send a short message so we want to use the command topic so you can see the protocol web page that should the command topic it here so we just copy and paste it here and what payload will you want to paste so you can see in our form that have should kcs v3 gsm mqtt protocol uh, this have a make a call and this have a send short message so we just copy and paste this payload at here and just replace your short message content and your mobile phone number you can see this is your country code because china is uh, 186 uh, i just replace with my mobile phone at here okay and the short message content you can also change key 2 is pressed okay this key 2 is pressed what i want to send then i can choose this uh, qos i can set to zero this is for mqtt setting i can press save and rename sms key 2 and press save and back to uh, this page you can see uh, this is second automation and the, uh, this is first automation this is second automation also we have enabled this automation now let's test i can press this button too now you can see uh, this is button two i can press that means on okay uh, you can see this have received a short message you can see uh, the key two is pressed so now you will see uh, this have shared it here okay now you can see i have pressed this button to have sent a short message okay if you want to make a coin for example i can create a button three and to make a coin so you can also create automation and create new automation and add a triangle and g1 device and g1 and this time i have choose this import three and what to do just mqtt publish and the topic also i can uh, copy this command topic and this payload i want to make a coin so just copy this one you can see make a coin copy and paste it here and also change my mobile phone number just which mobile phone number you want to call just replace it here okay you can choose this one and press save and call key three and press save and back okay let's test this call and press button three and you can see this is button three if i press this button and release my finger that is triggered for this one okay you can see this have the g1 have called this mobile phone okay this is how to use battery sensor to send a short message and how to make a call now i will show you how to use a temperature sensor to send a notification for along the temperature so for example you can see in our home assistant dashboard uh, this g1 the temperature is 17 centigrade uh, i will press this uh, press this sensor let the uh, temperature become high and send a short message you can see i can also create a automation and create a new automation and add a triangle that device device g1 and this time i have choose this temperature sensor so you can see also it's very easy if you you can import if i import 19 just greater than 19 that will be triggered send a short message so you can see if i press this action 
MQTT and publish and the topic also is this command topic command topic and the send a short message just paste the send short message and paste that here and you can see the message I can change to temperature is high from Kinkoni G1 okay uh, this is mobile phone number okay and press save and this time we can change to SMS temperature and press save and back and you can see this enabled and also I will monitor the sensor you can see this is 17 now I will hold on my my uh, finger and let it become high okay this is DS 18B20 temperature sensor uh, you can see I can just let it become high okay you can see the temperature is high from King Kong G1 uh, this, this have received a mes short message and also you can see you can see uh, 24 and 24 uh, so this is high so this have a send a short message it's very easy just use MQTT publish the message because if you want uh, send a notification for important uh, project uh, use SMS is most most stable because it it will work without the Wi-Fi without the Ethernet just uh, your mobile phone have the signal so that will have a call or have a short message sent out okay this is how to send a short message and make a call in Home Assistant used by King Kong G1 controller if you have any questions you can leave a message to us thanks for watching